Dr. Linda Nabha is here. She's an expert on infectious diseases. Doctor, thanks a lot for coming Thank and you talking for having with me. us. You know, you know I, I want to start at the beginning. What sure. is the coronavirus? So coronavirus is a family of viruses, and it could range from very mild symptoms of an upper respiratory infection like a sinus infection or a headache, um, a mild pneumonia, to severe respiratory failure. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, your typical sinus infection was likely a coronavirus. Now we know that coronavirus also is in animals. And when that coronavirus gets from animals to people, that's when it can get very severe. The symptoms become very severe. So this new novel coronavirus we think came from animals. So typically the symptoms of the novel coronavirus are very mild. However, we do know that the symptoms can become very severe as we've seen in other countries. Okay, and so if you suspect yourself or somebody in your family or Somebody sitting across from you at work right. has the virus. What, what, what do you do? What do you do? So the first thing is don't panic, right? You want to check your own pulse. Um, you don't want to rush in initially to the emergency room per se. Because? You're gonna, because they're going to be flooded with people coming in with a simple cough. The first thing you should actually do is get a flu shot, right? Because mer uh, the novel coronavirus and the influenza virus can behave very similarly. What the flu shot does is it reduces your symptoms of the flu. So you don't necessarily present to the emergency room. Now, if things start getting worse, that is the time to start going to the emergency room. You want to give your, your doctor a call and talk to your doctor over the phone and discuss that with your physician first. Kim wants to know, should you wear a mask? Right. So should you wear a mask? Right now, no. Right now, we do not have an, uh, a pandemic currently. Walking around with a mask is really not going to do anything except make yourself feel better. You're really not going to prevent that spread of the infection to yourself or to anyone else by wearing that mask. In fact, many people wear the mask wrong. They use it constantly. The mask is something that you would use once and you throw away. So right now at this point, it is not a pandemic. There is no need, no need to use a mask. And we are expecting it's going to happen. There's going to be community spread of this. Now we have to prepare ourselves, but not be so fearful that we can't go out in public. So there's a really thin line between protecting yourself, having an emergency preparedness plan versus being so fearful you don't leave your home. We are not there at any point at this point being that fearful.